Hey everyone, I'm um, going to give a quick update and answer some of the most common questions. Uh, the first of what, which is how did we know we should go in? What was the sign? What made us uh, go get this little tiny spot on my finger looked at? And uh, the answer is it doesn't make sense if you just use logic. I mean, I have, I'm sure I have hundreds, if not close to a thousand moles on my body. And most of them look bad. In fact, the the dermatologist, when he looked at my back, said, well, that's a nightmare, which is always fun to hear from someone. Um, but uh, anyway, the uh, we felt like we should. And when we use the term felt, we were referring to the guidance of the Holy Ghost or the Spirit. And uh, while some of you understand what it's like to be inspired, others of you may be questioning what that means. And um, you can chalk it up to whatever you want, but uh, for us, we count it as a tender mercy uh, from our Heavenly Father uh, to act on this and not wait. And because of that decision to act and not wait, uh, things have just gone very, very well. Um, so uh, the other question is, when will I find out if they got all the cancer? So as of right now, today being Monday, um, I have a follow-up, uh, Wednesday. So on the fifth, I have a follow-up with the hand surgeon. Now the no news is good news is a, a principle here. So they did not call me to come back in, which, uh, I haven't received the official word, but I believe that means the pathology came back as, as that they had got all the cancer, that there were no cancer cells in the skin they took off of the finger. So now the process is um, I'll go into the dermatologist every three months for two years and then every six months for three years. And then after five years, uh, assuming there aren't any other cancers, I'll be cancer free. Right now we're, we're counting our blessings and uh, we're, we're, uh, uh, we're assumptive that I'm cancer free as of the, uh, when the biopsy was taken. Because uh, the excisement where they put the skin graft, uh, it didn't, unless something changes, uh, it did not show any cancer. Um, so another question is, uh, how how's the pain? And oddly enough, it hurts every now and again um, in between these two fingers, but it feels like it's on the middle finger. In fact, I had this horrible thought that what if they uh, took the skin from the wrong finger, right? I know they didn't, but it was this horrible thought because it's my middle finger that hurts, and yet it was the index finger that had the excisement taken off. And then uh, it stings across my wrist where they took the skin graft, and uh, mostly on the uh, outside away from the thumb and the inside close to the thumb. The middle doesn't hurt near as much as the, the sides do. Um, and then the... Uh, but, and th those pains are okay. What really gets it is it starts to throb. And for some reason, my, it actually has muscle pain in the forearm going up to the wrist. And I don't know if that's just because it's not able to move freely. And so it's cramping up or if it starts to swell. Um, another question is what happens on Wednesday at the follow-up? And from what I understand, they're going to take off the bandage and then they're going to examine the skin graft on my index finger and see if um, the skin graft has a hematoma underneath it or fluid underneath the graft. If it does, then the graft failed um, and they're, they'll tell me what they're going to do next. Assuming that it has adhered to the flesh underneath because it was a full skin uh, a full skin graft, uh, they, then the epidermis, the top layer will have, um, I'm going to use the term slough off. It's going to have, um, exited, uh, come apart. It, it won't be adhered to the, um, to the graft anymore. So it'll just be the, um, the dermis layers and the subdermis layer, uh, that is left and it heals from the uh, bottom up 
and so then the epidermis would eventually grow back. Uh, that's, that's the theory that I've been told. Um, and then another question that we get, is there anything that we need or anything that people can do? And I have to tell you, we have just been so blessed. There have been so many people who've acted as God's hands here on earth. Um, we, uh, we had a surprise basket left at our door. Uh, I don't know who did it. Um, uh, I, I wish we knew just so we could express our gratitude and thanks. They provided uh, toys and games for the kids and a gift card to Walmart, which uh, just so happens we are out of diapers. And so I believe uh, we're getting uh, some Walmart diapers. And then a, um, also cash that we've used for gas and just really huge blessings um, all over the place. Little things uh, along with the big things like that. Um, uh, we had some families bring us some meals and we're just so grateful. So uh, we are doing fine. Uh, if you can continue to pray for uh, the healing um, to continue, uh, that is... That is just so uh, meaningful to us. It's pri the primary reason that um, we uh, have shared so openly what's going on. Typically, you know, I, I, I don't share stuff. Uh, but uh, in this case, we uh, have sought after having people uh, fast and pray for us. And uh, we're so grateful for those things. And we know that Heavenly Father answers prayers. And we have felt uh, the, the love that our Father has for us. So, the, uh, all right, so that is the update. And uh, thank you all so much. And I hope you have a wonderful rest of the week. I'll put another update up uh, probably Wednesday or Thursday.